Coming up next, it's a featherweight matchup between the prodigy, B.J. Penn, and the former UFC lightweight champion, Frankie Edgar. The pride of Tom's River, New Jersey. Frankie, the answer, Edgar, is all about constant movement. He comes in with great combinations and puts more punishment on his opponents. And he pulled off what many considered one of the greatest upsets back in 2010 in Abu Dhabi when he defeated BJ Penn to become the UFC lightweight champion. Frankie Edgar steps inside the octagon and he's ready to fight. The prodigy, the proud Hawaiian, B.J. Penn. A black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu under Andre Pettineris. B.J. Penn made his UFC debut all the way back at UFC 31 in May of 2001. He is the former UFC lightweight and welterweight champion, B.J. Penn. B.J. Penn is considered by many to be the greatest lightweight fighter to ever walk the planet. He's got outstanding jiu-jitsu skills and uncanny flexibility. He's also extremely dangerous on his feet with fast hands and very technical boxing skills. Our tail of the tape for this featherweight fight. Edgar is 34. Penn is 37. Edgar will have a two-inch reach advantage. Once again, here's the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 19 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Tom's River, New Jersey, USA, Frankie! This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 16 wins, 10 losses, and two draws. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. But he got a running out to Hilo, Hawaii. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC lightweight champion and the former UFC welterweight champion of the world. Herb Dean, our referee. Ready to fight? Ready. And here we go. Interesting matchup here, Jones. Will they try to go for the submission, or will they choose to stand and strike? One thing to keep an eye out for is the takedown ability of Frankie Edgar. He has some fantastic takedowns. They could be a big factor tonight. Continuing to strike well. Nice hook to the body by Pat. These guys are going at it here right away, trading blows. Oh, again. Edgar with a solid leg kick. Oh, double jab. And they move out of the clinch. Joe really starting to see the accumulation of those body shots in the damage. Game. It's a nice jab there, Joe. Penn with a strong lead kick. And he continues to mix up his strikes. Hard leg kick. Swing and a miss. Good check. Nice slip of the left. The right hook misses. Kill slam! Hip escape, nice hip escape. Moves to full guard. 
He's back up again. Oh, he connected with that right hand. Nice counter left hook. And he lands the roundhouse. Good kicks by Penn. The straight connects. Tries to set up the takedown. And he's taken down by Penn. He Nicely to done. Half guard. Oh, great transition. Full guard now. Nice work from the bottom by Edgar. Caught him with a right hand. He passes again into half guard. He's got the full mount, Joe. Wow, quick movement on the ground. Just gonna step right back over. He's got the back. This is where he's outstanding. Scramble, scramble, scramble. Flattened out. Penn's got the full mount again. Hip escape, gets out of the full mount. Now falls back into guard. Penn gets back up again. Head kick. Nicely done. Oh, there beautiful combination. And uh, the end of the round. Uh. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Deep breath, breathe. Take a drink. All right, here we go, listen. The lovely Brittany and our crew, happy to be here tonight. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round. Joe, the story of that last round, Frankie Edgar's leg kicks. Tremendous leg kicks landed in that round. Thunderous. And without a doubt, his opponent's got to start checking some of those. Frankie Edgar pushes one of the fastest paces in the division. He has outstanding footwork, very good boxing, very good wrestling, and is one of the toughest, most durable guys in the sport. Here we see the number of leg kicks landed tonight. Penn with a good jab. Clean hook. Back and forth. Man, some nasty body shots. And you can see the bruising starting on the left oh! side. Whoa! This could be it! Hard jab. Big shots. I like that, Mike. I like how he's mixing it up. Vicious shots to the body. Wow, another big body shot. Oh, oh. combination. Two jumper cut. Look at this. Take down. Back to half guard. Right into guard again, Joe. Nice job. He's in half guard. Now. Back to his feet. Joe, that's a solid leg kick by Edgar. Under two. Nice. Joe, those are some good kicks by Edgar. Back up to his feet. Nice parry there. Switching his stance up a little bit. Edgar with a straight to the body. And he's throwing that left hook with ill intention. He's got it right here. He's in a, he's in a half guard. Now he's moved back in a full guard. He's keeping busy from the bottom. Back up to his feet. There it is, swinging a miss. Penn caught by that inside leg kick. 
30 seconds on the clock here in the round. And he connects here. Both men landing in that exchange. Faints with the punch. And over and over in this fight, he has punished the body. And now you can visibly see the effects. And that's the end of round number two. Let's take a look at some of the action from that round. Here's a big leg kick. And here's another beautiful leg kick. And here's a huge, perfectly placed punch that lands with devastating impact. The beautiful Ariani. Ready to fight? Ready. Five minutes remain in this fight. Now, starting off this round, you've got to think that the barrage that he endured in that last round is still affecting him. He's going to want to start this round off and move and avoid taking any damage. Edgar gets caught by the inside late kick. Great use of the kicks. Joe, he's done a great job tonight on his feet, but as you look at the numbers, the thing that really pops out, body strikes. Oh, beautiful right hook. He's just laying an outstanding leg oh, kick. Good connection by both men. Man, the damage to his thigh continues to get worse. He's gonna be walking with a limp for a while. In full guard. Great work from the bottom. And they're up. Frankie Edgar with a lightning fast, accurate jab. He looks for the takedown. Now he's and there's the big takedown. takedown. Three minutes remain in this fight. He's looking to take the back. Hen gets caught with the left. He's moved back into side control. Half guard. Joe as the clock ticks down. This fight still belongs to any. This fight is there to be taken. I have it completely dead even right now. One of these guys steps up and makes a big statement. They can win this fight. Nice sweep to get to top position. Really good movement on the ground. He's back in a full guard now. Penn with the hammer fist. He's back up. Oh, left hand. The kick gets through. Man, Joe, he is all kinds of beat up. The bruising just gets worse, and it's due to all those body shots. Nice feints. Caught him with a right hand. They are exchanging here, Mike. Head with a strong combination. Oh! Wow! Trying to stay out of trouble here. Beautiful body shot there, too. Vicious combinations. They what a go fight. the distance in a spectacular matchup. Round one. Look at this strike getting through. Absolutely perfect technique. And again, here in round two, beautiful technique here. Times that strike perfectly. Round three. Beautiful technique in this punch here, and it finds its way to the head. And here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score the contest. 29-28. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Frankie the Edgar! Frankie Edgar, victorious.
by unanimous decision.